Mr. Boniface Mwangi has been arrested. Mwangi was picked up by police officers from his uh, Lukenya home earlier today and has been locked up at the Kamukunji police station. Police say the activist was arrested over allegations of incitement to violence using his social media platforms. He had called on participants at today's Tanchat Marathon to occupy the city marathon by carrying flags, placards and wearing clothes with anti ruto messages printed on them. He also said the protest would be to honor victims of police brutality in recent protests that led to the death of over 60 people. Around 7 15, my son called me and told me that the police are in the house and they've come to pick that. And I, they, they didn't enter the compound. They parked outside, got, told him to get ready, and there were five men and uniforms and masked, and there was one woman with them. And they walked him out and they didn't say who they were, they didn't say where they were coming from, what they were taking him for, why they were taking him, they just left. So, of course, just trying to find and locate some blood, you know, with the help of LSK and friends and comrades, but we've been able to find where he is. And he's been taken because of the, the Stanchard marathon. He sent something about Occupy Stanchard and it was very clear. He said that people need to be safe, people need to get their flag. When did it become a crime that to wear a flag in this country, you will be arrested for? And if we continue to stay silent, they will kill us all. But who is going to be in this country? They take my husband, they take your children, they take you. If we do nothing, if we say nothing, they will continue like this. And that's why we must continue to fight against this kind of behavior whether it is coming from whoever that top person is, whether it is coming from the president or from the DCI, it is unlawful, it is illegal, and it should not continue to happen. So we must reject and reject continuously and ensure that this behavior stops. Because once they come taking people like this from their homes in front of my sons, he was at home with his sons. My son watched all this. What happens to children, our children as they're growing up, watching these things happen? Not knowing whether their father is going to come back home. Not knowing if he will even get to where he's going. It has to stop. It must end. It is not right. It is unfair. Not just for my husband, but for every Kenyan in this country fighting for their rights. And we must continue to fight for our rights together. Because one person is going to be taken away, frustrated, scared, and things could happen to them. But if we join hands like we were supposed to do today at Occupy Stanchard, it was not a threat. He was very clear that people need to be safe and wearing the flag and just chant. When did that become a crime in this country? Yeah. So I hope that whatever case they are, they are putting on him, that when he goes to court, that he's going to be released without any charges because all those charges are going to go. Perhaps have there been threats uh, against him before? Yes, there have been continuous threats, and if you check on social media, on Twitter especially, they've just been paid bloggers to say all these kind of things. If my husband was paid, this country has all the resources to say who is paying him, how much they are paying, and where you can trace money. We know that the government is able to do these things, so why can't they do that? They just put bloggers, cases, and things to say about my husband, who has not done these things. To Even today, if you open your phones right now and go to X, you'll see bloody eyes, bloody hands what has he done if he was guilty of any of these things he would have been arrested he would have been in court he would be in jail for something that he's done but he's not because there are bogus charges and there's nothing that he has done Ongoja kidogo, ongoja kidogo ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jackson254 tv uh, karibuni karibuni sana ladies and gentlemen mambo kenya sasa hivi guys kulingana na vile ambavyo ripoti zinatufikia ripoti zenye zinatufikia sasa hivi guys zinasemekana ya kwamba boniface mwangi activist ambaye amekuwa kitetea wa kenya especially wakati huu wak, majenzi walikuwa wanaandamana inasemekana amekuwa abducted tena guys Hizi ripoti ni ripoti ambazo ziliweza kupostiwa na mkewe Boniface Mwangi, mkewe kwa jina uh, Njeri Mwangi. Njeri Mwangi ladies and gentlemen, she is a very beautiful woman, a woman mwenye nambaye amesimama na Boniface Mwangi hii time yote kutoka wakati Boniface Mwangi alianza kuumizwa, kupigwa nini, anaumizwa, bibi yake ajawai muacha. Unaona kwa sababu yeye ana ya kwamba bwana yake 
anapigani yanga haki za wakenya sasa hivi guys as we speak Boniface Mwangi ameweza kuadaptiwa na inasemekana ya kwamba amekuwa uh, uh, nini uh, held, held on pale ivo uh, kamukunji police station inasemekana uh, jana ikiwa ni masaa ya saa moja za usiku kuna mapolisi walikuja wakavamia boma yao pale Machakos mahali ambapo walikuwa wamejenga so walivamiwa na Boniface Mwangi akachukuliwa na akapelekwa bibi yake alikuja kwa mtandao akiwa analia anaomba wa Kenya tafadhali mmsaidie bwana yake ametekwa nyara na hawajui mahali bwana yake amepelekwa unajua msisahau ya kwamba as we speak guys Mavarek Aoko sasa hivi ajulikani mahali aliyoko aja post kutoka tarehe 22 up to date Aoko ajulikani mahali aliyoko unaona inasemekana pia hata yeye pia alikuwa abducted unaona na guys baada ya, ya, ya hawa watu kukunini ku, ku, ku abductiwa kumbuka uh, uh, nani uh, anaitwa Francis Gaitho aliweza pia kuwa abducted pia vile vile uh, usiku nali Uh, onekana kwa CCTV akichukuliwa unaona sasa hivi guys yeye at least tunaona na post atujui kama ni watu wake wana post ama ni yeye so atujui kabisa kabisa Kenya sasa hivi mahali imefika sijui tutafanya namna gani lakini we thank god we thank god bahada ya mkewe Boniface Mwangi kuweza kupost hizo uh, post pale kwa mtandao uh, Martha Karua aliweza kuona hiyo post na ka react pia vile vile SK ama zaidi ukipenda LSK president uh, uh, kwa jina Faith Adhiambo pia vile vile aliweza ku respond na pia vile vile uh, uh, the former chief justice Mr. Willy Mutunga pia vile vile aliweza ku respond unajua so wao pia vile vile wanauliza mahali Eh, eh, nani alioko unaona ni nini kilifanyika na ni kwa nini walimshika lakini guys nimeweza kugather information nikagundua ya kwamba huyu Boniface Mwangi alikuwa ameenda kudunda on Friday alienda mahali kwa ba kukunywa ba ambayo pia vile vile eh, kuna jamaa pale kwa jina Juliani Juliani yule ambaye alinyanganyananga Uh, bibi wa wenyewe na pia vile vile huyo bibi pia inasemekana pia amenyanganywa unaona sasa hivi hana bibi despite yeye kuzaa na yeye Juliani alikuwa pia vile vile pale hivyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo klabu na wakapatia Boniface Mwangi microphone kwa sababu guys wakati wewe ni celebu unapoenda mahali popote unaona MC Wanga anakuwa acknowledged ya kwamba kwa nyumba leo tuko na mzito unaona kwa hivyo wakati anacheza muziki yake wanga anachukua microphone anaambia watu guys big up to Boniface Mwangi in the house like that ni nini ni. na kwa sababu huyu jamaa ni jamaa ambaye anatumianga sauti yake ku represent wale wanyonge wenye hawana sauti kwa hivyo watu wali demand ni lazima aamuke aseme kitu Boniface Mwangi na yeye akaamuka akaanza kusema ya kwamba Ruto must go baada ya kusikia crowd inasema Ruto must go guys there is no way Ruto anaezaenda na ili hali Ruto ameamua kukaa kwa madaraka zaidi ya miaka ishirini Unaona? Kwa sababu my friend hii katiba ya Kenya kwanza ni kuambia ladies and gentlemen inabadilishwa na inasemekana ya kwamba hiyo mambo ya uh, magavana na ma MP wote, mauma na representative wote na ma MCA kukaa kwa kiti na president kwa jumla ati miaka tano hiyo ni upuzi. So inasemekana my friend miaka tano si haijatosha wale viongozi mulichagua kuonyesha maendeleo yenye wamefanya na hii guys imetokana na hii miaka mbili yenye wamekaa uongozini hakuna kitu wamefanya unaona hakuna kitu wamefanya kwa hivyo the only thing walionelea ni wanunue opposition wale wanaicontrol vile wanataka sasa hivi vijana wenye ambao walikuwa naonekana ni kama malida wengi wamenunuliwa na wale wenye wamekataa kununuliwa ndio hawa unasikia wanashikwa wanafinywa wanawachiliwa wanashikwa wanafinywa wanaachiliwa guys let me tell you something there is no way ya, uh, uh, nani mtu kama Ruto anayeweza akawafanya nini anaweza akawapatia nafasi kwa sababu let me tell you hii government yake anarun na pesa na zile pesa na spend kufurahisha hawa viongozi ndio wambak wambak ambition zake hakuna vile anaweza ka risk ati mtu kama Agaido ama mtu kama Maverick Aoko ama mtu kama Boniface Mwangi ama mtu eh, kama eh, nani anaitwa nani Morara 
Morara pia vile vile ladies and gentlemen msidhani pia kwa na, na, na amani kwanza hiyo chama yake yenye ali, aliweza ku ya uh, nini re, inject hiyo hiyo chama wacha nikwambia inapatia viongozi wasiwasi inapatia viongozi wasiwasi kabisa nyinyi mnajua mapo, ma, ma, ma politician ni pesa ngapi wanatengeneza mnajua ni pesa ngapi wanatengeneza kila mwezi my friend sasa hivi hata wasipofanya maendeleo hakuna kitu mtawafanya Kenya ni nchi ya, ya ufisadi sasa hivi ufisadi imekithiri. Nimeona Oscar Sudi sasa hivi wako na vita baina yake na Nuru Okanga. Kumbuka Oscar Sudi alikuja kwa kipindi ya Oga Obina akiwa anaambia Nuru Okanga ya kwamba wewe njadi unakusumbua kijana na mimi kama kiongozi nimeamua nitakubadilishia maisha ndio wacha kushinda ukipiga piga kelele kwa sababu watu wenye wako na pesa awapendi kelele na pesa hazitakangi uh, mtu mwenye anapiga kelele so akampromise atamfungulia biashara na at, akampromise atampatia 1 million naona na akampromise pia zile nyumba ambazo serikali inatengeneza za affordable houses kwa, kwa nchi pia atampatia pia two bedroom pale kwa hivyo Nuruokanga amengojea hizo pesa za biashara aoni amengojea pia ile pocket money aliambiwa atapewa milioni moja aoni sasa hivi Nuruokanga amechoka kungoja na akipiga simu azishikwi. Sasa hivi Nuruokanga ameenda kwa mtandao, ameenda amemwanika, amesema vile huyo jamaa alimtumia ndio ili kumnyamazisha. Na nyinyi mmekuwa mkiona guys. Baada ya Nuruokanga kukuwa approached, aliacha kusema ya kwamba ati eh, Gashago asikue impeach, tunaona? Siku hizi ukienda pale Jekaranda wote wanaongea lugha moja. Wanasema my friend let me tell you. Finya kabisa hao watu wote. Tuje kabisa wanaambia Ruto afanye venye anataka. Kwa sababu alishaongeleshwa Mlungula pia halishapromisiwa hata ingawaje haikuwa imeingia lakini yeye alikuwa anafulfill makubali yake bano yake. Kwa sababu guys hakuna kitu mbaya kama uh, hii bunge la mwananchi kwa Ruto. Kwa sababu wacha nikwambie wale watu sasa hivi wanapatia kiongozi Ruto sasa hivi stress ni watu wachache sana. Hiyo bunge ya mwananchi na hawa wakina morara hawa. Na kwa sababu Boniface Mwangi hajaongea kwa muda, hawajui sasa hivi wana plani nini. Kwa sababu kumbuka sasa hivi e, katiba ya yenye iliandikangwa sasa hivi wanataka 2024 waweze kurarua zile pages ambazo e, zita benefit viongozi, wajilimbikizie pesa na madaraka my friend. Na pia pesa pia wajiongezee. Lazima hiyo constitution ibadilishwe na hii constitution lazima ibadilishwe mupende musipende mupende musipende I'm telling you guys sasa hivi hakuna kubembeleza Ruto amewabembeleza sana na na msiki sasa hivi ameamua sasa ni kuenda na nyinyi uh, uh, sambamba anawaweka kwa line mpaka mtashika mtashika adabu mnadhani ni mchezo Hakuna vile mtaenda mkiharibia president Regina ati kwa sababu ati sijui nini what, what are you saying? Wewe unadhani kupata kiti ya upresident ni mchezo? Unadhani kupata kiti ya upresident ni mchezo wewe? Upate kiti ya upresident alafu wachilie. Unadhani president Ruto ni kama wale ma president wa Uruguay. President wa Uruguay is the most poorest president in the world. Kwa nini? Yeye baada ya kuchaguliwa aliingia pale na akafikiria kuhusu maisha ya wananchi imagine yeye mwenyewe hananga ndege hananga gari hananga chochote yeye pesa zake hata mshahara alipwangwi analipwangwa sijui 30% hii nyingine yote inaenda kwa maskini pesa zote anapeleka kwa hospitali na nini nini yeye mwenyewe alisema hawezi akaishi maisha expensive anaishi kama mtu wa kawaida huyo president my friend hata akikuja kwenyu kutembea Akuja hata mumuone kwa barabara na anapita hakuna mtu anaweza munyonga hakuna hata mwizi anaweza mkidnap jiwo jamaa hana mali Unaona huyo jamaa ako clean kama pamba. Sio kama hawa viongozi wetu atukimuona hivi my friend hizo ni pesa. Atukimuona pia atanatoroka anatorokea maisha yake um, um rescue umetajirika hapana. So wacha nikuambie kitu moja. Kwa hii dunia you will only live once. Tajirika, tajirika na uendelee kutajirika. Kwa sababu usipofanya namna hiyo ladies and gentlemen. Watu watakucheka watu watakucheka na sasa hivi hawa viongozi wetu my friend wacha nikwambie wanatafuta pesa mingi ndio hata wa university nje hata mkivika mahali mwaletee ujinga wanahama mnasema nini nyinyi mnasema nini tafadhalini tafadhalini wa Kenya tafadhalini Boniface Mwangi ameweza kutekwa nyara 
na mumeweza kusikia vile ambavyo bibi yake uh, ameweza kusema anasema ya kwamba yeye anapenda bwana yake na anamtaka mahali penye yako akuje so baada ya uh, Madakarua kuongea na pia vile vile bahada ya LSK president kuongea uh, Faith Odhiambo pia vile vile uh, former chief uh, wa nini wa chief justice wa Kenya pia vile vile Willy Mutunga kumbuka huyo ni best friend wa karibu sana na Boniface Mwangi kwa hivyo guys let me tell you wameweza kuongea na baada ya wao kuongea Boniface Mwangi inasemekana amepatikana ni wapi alipelekwa so alipelekwa kamukunji na akameweza kushtakiwa na madai ya kuinsight watu kwa kilabu unaona hiyo video yenye amepost kwa mtandao hiyo ladies and gentlemen hiyo video imeleta shida na ndio kwa maana ameshikwa hata kabla ya post hiyo video alikuwa already ashashikwa kwa sababu ya nini Kumbuka hata kwa hizo vilabu wanaendanga kukunywa kuna kuanga na mapolisi na hao mapolisi wakati wanaona kitu inaendelea wanapiganga simu mapolisi wanakuja wanaonafanya nini na unawashika sasa hivi tukitaka amani Kenya my friend ni tujaribu kupatia Ruto nafasi ya kuongoza Ruto aongoze kwa amani abadilishe miaka kwa amani na pia vile vile hiyo miaka saba ikiisha pia watabadilisha tena na hakuna kitu mtafanya sasa hivi mmesikia mmesikia guys wetangu la mmesikia nafutwa kazi My friend ODM wanataka kupatia mtu wao hiyo kiti ya speaker wa Senate. Na pia vile vile nasikia yani hii madaraka hao watu wanagawana, wanagawana kabisa. Unajua kuna mtu mwenye anachukianga Raila kama Maverick Aoko. Maverick Aoko ladies and gentlemen. Sasa hivi angekuwa hapa sasa hivi angekuwa amechamba huyo Raila vibaya sana. Raila inasemekana ya kwamba ni opportunist. Yeye ndio wanga anakuja pale anaambia watu waandamane, watu wanaandamana wakidhani ya kwamba serikali inaenda kuchukua yeye ana sneak out anaenda na patana na president wa nchi wanaenda wana, wanakaa chini wanasikizana alafu wakishasikizana my friend wacha nikuambie wanamuita kwa serikali anaingia pale anawacha wa Kenya nje wengi waliuliwa guys guys let me tell you something hii serikali wale vijana waliuliwa kwa street wakati eh, wa impeachment parliament vijana waliuliwa wengi Vijana wengi sana wameuliwa wamepatikana kwa mitaro wakiwa wameuliwa guys. Souls zao vijana wacha nikuambie hazijawahi rest. Kwa hivyo mtu yoyote mwenye ambaye anajaribu kupinga maamuzi ya GNZ. Huyo mtu my friend wacha nikuambie unaweza hata kutwa usiku na spirit zao watu wenye walichinjwa au watu wenye walikufa wakuje wakunyonge. Hakuna haja my friend kuwa na pesa mingi duniani alafu uchizi ama familia yako iishi ikilipa deni ni uchungu sana ladies and gentlemen ni uchungu sana hata makanisa sasa hivi wamekuja kurealize ya kwamba walikosa hapo kujua kwamba Ruto akiingia pale atasahau Ruto saa hii my friend wacha nikuambie yeye anasema gashagwa ni mtu mbaya sana na guys wacha nikuambie video ziko kwa mtandao gashagwa kama kuna mtu anachukia ni Raila Odinga na yeye alikuwa anasema Raila Odinga vile waliwatendea na Uhuru Kenyatta Ruto akona roho nzuri sana awezi akatendea mtu unyama. Hii mambo ya kwa abduct watu Ruto awezi fanya. Kwa hivyo wa Kenya mufeel safe na hii serikali ya President Ruto. Hivyo ndio Gashagwa alikuwa anasema, alikuwa anamuongelelea uh, President wake vibaya. Sorry, alikuwa anamuongelelea vizuri, lakini bahada ya President kuchukua kiti ile video gashagwa akikulanisha machakula siku ya kupewa kiti gashagwa alikula chakula kama mtu mwenye jai kula na vibaya na anamulikwa na kamera hiyo kitu ilikazisha president paka president akakuja akam, akampatia wonyo adharani mbele ya watu na kutoka wakati huo wacha nikwambie gashagwa amekuwa tu akimisibievu Nyinyi mnadhani my friend hiyo kiti yenye Ruto amekalia unadhani ni mchezo. Hiyo kiti hata Ruto hapatangi usingizi wakati analala state house. Hiyo state house my friend waje ni kuambia nduru za watu wenye wamekufa wengi tangia miaka ya kitambo wale ma president wote wenye walikuwa. Hizo nduru waje ni kuambia ukiwa kwa hiyo nyumba waje ni kuambia mapopo zinapita tu zikiambiza mpita tu ndani. Shure mapopo zimejaa uko ndani. Hizo mapopo waje ni kuambia usiku zinageuka zinakuwa kama souls zenye zilikufa. Unasikia watu wanalia. 
Huwezi lala pale. Na ndio kwa maana president anapenda kusafiri. Unajua kwa ngambo my friend unalala kwa building mrefu uko juu kwa city katikati my friend unasikia tu furaha. Security mabouncer nini umewekewa paka kwa mlango? Unasikia vizuri wacha nikuambie. Kwa ndege unaenda na security mnapiga story, unalala wakati wenzako wamekaa pale, unashikwa na usingizi unalala kwa kiti, wenzako wakuu wamekaa pale. Lakini Kenya my friend kwa imagine una, unaenda a security wakuacha kwa nyumba nyumba my friend nasemekana iko na sijui bedroom 40 hiyo nyumba kama hiyo my friend wacha nikuambie utakaa haje utakaa haje so guys hizo ndio news ambazo zina trend sasa hivi and thank you so much for listening to me uh, wacha maoni yako pale utuambie guys tufanye namna gani hii serikali tuifanyie namna gani kwa sababu hii serikali imeamua ku na sisi vilivyo unaona So guys thank you so much uh, let us meet on the next video until next time god bless you bye bye jackson apa